Nate from Design Squad, and I'm here with Desi, AJ, Zara, and Anna. All of us are designing different balloon cars. It's got a carton for a body, a half a plastic cup, four foam balls for wheels. I think big DVD wheels will roll really easy. Go! When we release the balloon, <laughs> <laughs> the rubber on the balloon squeezes the air out, which makes the balloon go. And it goes everywhere and it's crazy. Now we're gonna add a straw, because what it does is it makes the balloon go from going in a crazy direction <laughs> to a straight direction. The propulsion technology we're using here is a lot like a jet or a rocket. When the balloon squeezes air out the nozzle, it makes thrust in the opposite direction that makes the balloon in the car want to go that way. Racers ready! <sighs> On your marks, get set, go! I just can't get mine to go straight. I don't really think it was because it would go like that. I think it was because it would go like that. I think you might be onto something. This side to side motion made it not go straight. So I took this front axle and I changed its angle just a little bit. So hopefully it corrected it and now it goes straight. AJ, I challenge you. Racers, get your engines pumped. Go! No! Oh no, they're both going. Good race. Go. I have an idea of how we can scale this up a little bit. What I've got here is a fire extinguisher attached to a tricycle. Balloon car. But with a little more pressure involved. So, so let's try this out. Now the balloon cars used a jet of air to move. There's lots of other things around that use jets of air. A fire extinguisher, a jet pack, and a jet. Don't try this at home. Just make a balloon car at home. Instructions to build your own balloon car are on the Design Squad website.